a short quiz <clears throat> if a partner dies then jlp will be reckoned at a surrender value b maturity value c policy value d none if he dies it will be reckoned at maturity value so answer is b next the balance of joint life policy account as shown in the balance sheet represents a surrender value of a policy b annual premium of joint life policy c total premium paid by the firm and d amount receivable on the maturity of the policy the balance of the joint life policy account in the balance sheet is always at the surrender value at the surrender value next the amount due to the deceased partner is paid to his a father b friends c wife and d executors correct answer is d executors amount due to the deceased partner is paid to his executors A, B, and C are partners sharing profits in the ratio one is to one is to two. C died on thirtieth June of year one, and profits for the accounting year ended on thirty-first December of the previous year. That was twenty-four thousand. How much share in profits will be credited to C's account? Is it A twelve thousand, B six thousand, C twenty-four thousand, and D three thousand? What is the profit for the current year? Twenty-four thousand into six months. So six by twelve. That is half twelve thousand. And what is C's share? Into two by four. Therefore, his share of profits should be six thousand. Should be six thousand. Correct answer. Option B. <coughs> JLP of the partners is a dash account. Is it a nominal account, personal account, representative personal account? or an asset account joint life policy is an asset it is an asset joint life policy of the partners account is an asset account correct answer d how is the premium paid on the jlp of the partners treated premium paid it is dashed to the dash account is it credited to the partners current account it is credited to the profit and loss account it is debited to the partners capital account and it is debited to the profit and loss account the premium paid when it's treated as an expense it is debited to the profit and loss account correct option option d next one joint life policy amount received by a firm is distributed in opening capital ratio b closing capital ratio c old profit sharing ratio of the partners and d new profit new ratio of partners as you've done several times it will be in the old profit sharing ratio of the partners so the correct answer should be c option c <clears throat> A, B, and C are partners sharing profits in the ratio three is to two is to one. They had a joint life policy of three lakh. Surrender value of joint life policy in balance sheet is ninety thousand. C dies. What is the share of each of the partners in the joint life policy? A, one lakh five thousand, seventy thousand, and thirty-five thousand. B, forty-five thousand, thirty thousand, and fifteen thousand. C one lakh fifty thousand, one lakh and fifty thousand, and D one lakh ninety five thousand, one lakh thirty thousand, and sixty five thousand. Joint life policy three lakh surrender value is there in the balance sheet of ninety thousand. Now, when they receive <coughs> the money, joint life policy in the balance sheet asset debit is ninety thousand. They receive money amount is bank account debit. Two joint life policy, three lakh. So what is the difference now? We get two lakh ten thousand. Two lakh ten thousand will be the balance in the JLP account, which will be distributed to A, B, and C in the ratio three is to two is to one. <clears throat> 
<coughs> that is half. 1 lakh 5,000 will go to A. 2 by 6, one third will go to B and 35,000 to C. Correct option should be A. <coughs> At the time of death of a partner, the firm gets dashed from the insurance company of the joint life policy taken jointly for all the partners. At the time of the death of a partner, the firm gets the policy value, the surrender value or see policy value for the dead partner, surrender value for all the partners from the insurance company. Death they get the policy value. On death of any one of the partners, policy value will be received by the partnership firm. In case of death of a partner, share of goodwill of deceased partner will be borne by the remaining partners in A. Sacrificing ratio, B. Gaining ratio, C. Old profit sharing ratio and B. Net profit sharing ratio. In case of death, share of goodwill will be borne by the remaining partners in the gaining ratio. Correct answer B, option B.